So yesterday, the news finally dropped that Will Smith will no longer be allowed to attend the Oscars for 10 years. He can't vote. He can't go to any of the events. But he can still receive an Oscar. He can still be nominated, and he can still win the awards. Someone else will just have to be there to accept the award for him. So really, it's not so bad, to be honest. Ten years just not to show up. Not that crazy. Uh, the, The biggest problem is which one of Jada's boyfriends is she going to take? She'll have to, of course, go with a boyfriend. Will won't be able to go. He won't be able to go. So he did respond and say that he accepts the decision. I accept and respect the Academy's decision, he said in a brief statement to page six on Friday. So it seems like he's just going to go along with it, and this will likely blow over probably within a week, and most people will forget about it. I don't want people to forget, though, that the real problem with Will Smith isn't so much his fault. It's his wife's fault. So much has come out. There are dirty laundries everywhere, but that's partially her fault because of their Instagram podcast called The Red Table where they literally put their dirty laundry out there on the public. Now, the difference between then and now is before, nobody was watching it because nobody cared, but everybody is analyzing this marriage now. And the one that looks bad is Jada Pickett-Smith. She doesn't believe that, by the way, because she is a toxic narcissist. Uh, That is 100% facts. Uh, She does not stand with her man. She has blamed him, thrown him under the table several times during this event. And now, aside from the creepy clips where she's shitting all over him, uh, this has come forward. Jada Pickett Smith never wanted to marry Will, cried at horrible wedding, a wedding that was probably uh, something that most people would dream of having. I'm sure it was like an amazing fairy tale wedding. Like I'm talking like money wise on what they spent for it. Most people would, would dream of having something like that, but she cried. She never wanted to marry him. Never wanted to marry him. Uh, so, Apparently, she was talked into it by her family. I don't know how that's possible. Like, they need to get a divorce. The problem is, Will doesn't want to divorce her. Will is very much in love with her. She is not in love with Will. She loves using him to make herself feel better. And sadly, this is a relationship that a lot of people are stuck in. A lot of people are stuck in these kinds of relationships because they just don't want to move on. I mean, what is moving on? You have to readjust your entire life when you leave someone that you've been with for years, especially if you have kids with them. It's tough because you're pretty much turning your life upside down and you're attached to people. You know, it's like when you get into a a breakup like this, it's like it's like someone died. It really does feel like that. And that's that's like scientifically proving you go through like a grieving process. But I mean. At the end of the day, wouldn't you be much happier not being with such a toxic person? You really would be, and you just kind of got to go through it. Will Smith would be a much better man without Jada Pickett-Smith. And then she can go and bang all the young dudes that she wants, just like she did with August. Old August, her son's friend that she preyed on when he came around the house. It's disgusting. Will Smith knew, let them... Let them bang in his homes that he owns. Like, that's that's how codependent he is on her. That he was willing to let her fuck other men and have relationships with him because he didn't want to lose her. I mean, that should say a lot right there. Jada Pickett-Smith confessed that she really didn't want to get married to Will Smith. In fact, the Matrix actress... Now, on the roasting spit of Smith's infamous Oscars smackdown of Chris Rock and the Academy's decision Friday to ban him from the ceremony for 10 years, admitted to crying down the freaking aisle 
before tying the knot with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air star on New Year's Eve in 1997. I was under so much pressure, you know, being young, being a young actress, being young, and I was, like, pregnant, and I just didn't know what to do, declared Pickett Smith, 50, in a freshly exhumed snippet from her Red Table Talk Facebook series. I never wanted to be married. And then, of course, they mentioned the entanglement. In the clip from 2018, which has resurfaced amid renewed controversy around her entanglement with R&B singer August uh, Alisna, 29. Um, he was a much, much younger than before when they hooked up. Uh, Pickett Smith candidly recalls her mother, also known as Gammy, 68, forcing her and Smith to wed after she became pregnant with their first son together. Now, Jaden, now 23. I really didn't want to get married, Pickett Smith restated, while seated around the circular table with her mom as well as Smith and their daughter. Imagine saying this in front of your family. Smith's just sitting there laughing about it, saying, oh, we got married because Gammy was crying. So there's not really much more to say here. This is just a nasty relationship and I really just think these two should not be together just leave her Will Smith you'll be a much happier man you'll be a much happier man uh, I I do believe that it's it's the bullshit that he's gone through with her that caused him to go up there and slap Chris Rock We've seen so many clips now, and there's going to be more shit that comes out. People are, like, going through this entire podcast series now and picking these moments out and doing reports on them. Imagine how much more is going to come out, because it sounds like all of their dirty laundry is out on that show. How stupid to do that, by the way, especially when you're public figures like this. Why would you do this? You're, like, putting it on the table. <laughs> it's just, it seemed like an unnecessary move. Maybe you shouldn't make your therapy public. Just a thought. I, I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.